fire signs. My name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your general weekly message from October 8th until the 14th, 2018. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So if you are interested in a private one, all the information is down below in the description box. So I'm going to timestamp them in the description box as well. Okay. For you guys. Um, we're going to first start off with the sign of Leo. Okay. Uh, please excuse. I, I do have allergies, so you may hear me coughing as well. So I apologize for that. All right. So for Leo, quite interesting, I feel. Uh, you're looking at a situation in regards to getting something started, I just heard, okay? I feel that this is your energy. Uh, I know that you're a fire sign, but you have the Queen of Cups here. The Queen of Cups is very intuitive. It's kind of like, I know what I want in regards to a relationship. And I say relationship is because right after that is the King of Cups. When you have the Queen and the King of the same suit, in this case, water. So you could be dealing with a water sign. But for the overall energy, seriously, that's in regards to a relationship. It's kind of like you're looking out towards your future, knowing that this relationship can work. Okay. And you're kind of like waiting with that Two of Pentacles energy of to say, you know, when is this coming? When is this new start? You see his face. He's kind of like, when are you getting here? You know, in regards to that new start. All right. I do feel that somebody definitely needs to open up. Okay. I feel that it's the opposing person, your counterpart. Okay. Uh, and I say that is because right above this King of Cups energy is that Ace of Swords. So the King of Cups is known for very emotional. Okay. A lot of feelings, but they tend to hold things back within. Okay. And I feel that this person, meaning your energy now can go either way because it is a general reading, but it's kind of like they, you guys know, you know, that this person loves you. Okay. Is what this is saying. They know that there's a relationship here. You're waiting for this decision for this person, your counterpart to open up and speak how they truly feel. Okay. With this Ace of Swords energy, because you know that you have a brighter future. Uh, the sun card is a beautiful card. It's one of the best cards that you can get actually. And I always take notice as to what exactly are they looking up at and look exactly what they're looking up at that new beginning. This is also so spiritually guided I feel they make me drunk uh go in on the like zoom in they zoomed in on this angel behind this uh full card here okay so it's kind of like you know that you have this future they know or you know that they love you but they just they hold back and I feel that you want this decision made for your counterpart your partner to open up and express how they feel okay because you know that you have this new beginning with this person okay you're definitely deep in your thoughts about this all right with the hermit here and I do feel that yes there's going to be this movement all right with this eight of wands here that eight of wands is that fast movement all right it could be uh, fast communication as well here but I feel that that you want this movement for this new beginning absolutely okay I do feel it's coming it's just that it's not you're gonna have to wait some more time and stay strong because I'm gonna give you a sneak peek here you have the three of wands here followed by the strength card so you're still gonna have to wait I do feel there is going to be movement absolutely it's just right now you're at they just said standstill you're at the standstill in order to have this movement for that new beginning in this relationship and you're just waiting you're waiting for this with the nine of pentacles to be able to ground yourself to get that balance back in with this queen of pentacles here now you could be dealing with an earth sign as well it is a people card but i clarified the queen of pentacles and you have the uh temperance card so be patient okay especially with the temperance card here and the strength card here and the three of wands in your outcome card you have to wait a little bit okay longer i feel and stay strong with this okay i i know i i'm seriously feeling i'm stuck on that queen of, of cups energy here it's kind of like you know you know that they love you. It's just that you're waiting for them to make that decision to open up and express because you see this future, you see this bright, beautiful future and you're deep in your mind about it for this movement. I do feel that whoever this is meant for is going to have that movement. That movement is that new beginning to be able to get it together. You know, with that queen of pentacles, it's kind of like, I got this, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting and I'm trying to be patient in order to get this uh, 
beginning, okay, is what I'm feeling here. Uh, for this week, I feel keep waiting, keep, <laughs> I know, right? But keep waiting, keep having that strength, keep having that patience. Uh, one of the lessons, not to, you know, in our, you know, voice my own opinion here, but one of the lessons I feel in regards to a commitment, a relationship that is meant to be, which is what I'm feeling here, uh, especially with that angel right, be right behind that fool card, okay? That tells me divinely guided. One of the lessons in regards to a relationship that is meant to be, you have to learn, There's they just said steps. There's steps to this, okay? To learn how to be patient, to, ha to long learn how to stay strong. Uh, they just said stay in your power as well, okay? Um, but definitely keep staying strong. Keep waiting for this, I feel. I mean, if you want to, I can't tell what, you know, what to do. But I definitely feel that there's going to be movement in regards to a relationship. And that movement is for somebody to make that decision. I feel it's the other person whom you're dealing with to speak their mind and express how they feel because you see it. You know, you definitely see this new beginning and you're deep in your thoughts about it almost to the point of manifesting for this new beginning to take place for that movement. So it's kind of like, yeah. I got it going on. You know, she's like kind of laid back, taking it all in kind of thing. And being patient through this because you've waited, you know, a long time. That nine is that long time of waiting for this new beginning. But yeah, definitely there's, you know, a, a little bit more waiting, I feel. So keep continuing to stay strong. Hang on. One, two. Three, four, five, six. It will be victorious. They, they said, count, count, Deb. Oh, my God, here comes the math. They said, count the, the flowers. So, uh, one, two, three. yeah, there's six. Six is that balance. Six is that victory as well. So I do feel uh, you wait, you be patient, and, you know, you keep manifesting. I do feel that this is going to be a very balanced situation. I feel that this person is going to open up and express how they feel, okay? And um, But you just have to wait for it. All good things come to those who wait. Isn't that the truth? Yeah, that's what they just said. I've been waiting four years. <laughs> I, deserve a, I deserve a gold star, baby. Anyway, so let's do, um, you know, let's do um, Sagittarius. Sagittarius had a very interesting spread. Wow, you guys are really going through it. What in the world, girlfriends and boyfriends? Oh, my goodness. All right. Just the, I mean, I pull a 10-card spread for everybody, right? But I was I was a curious cat. I'll admit it, you know. And I pulled your outcome card for Sagittarius. Let me mark it down here. Um, 746. All right. Sagittarius. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I kept going because they kept saying, go, 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 kind of thing to find out more where, where's it leading? It was kind of like little cliff notes, you know, and I was trying to get at where exactly are we going here, you know, for your outcome. So for your, I'm going to do your spread first. Okay. Um, for your spread here, you have the three of wands, you have the high priestess. You guys had a quite interesting spread. I got to say, uh, the High Priestess, the Page of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, the Temperance, that's your energy. You know, um, when you show up in your in your own spread, regardless if you're that wand energy of that people card or even the Temperance, which is right out your energy here, you're standing strong is what I'm feeling here in this. Uh, I feel that there's definitely a decision. Absolutely. All right. So in regards to Sagittarius, now this is not going to apply for everybody. I'm just showing you the messages here. Okay. So... In regards to Sagittarius, whoever this is meant for has been seriously, seriously waiting, okay? And what are you waiting for? Movement. You have the Eight of Wands right underneath that, okay? And But I feel that you have the Eight of Wands. This is kind of perplex, so bear with me here, all right? You see how these wands are literally daggering towards this Five of Wands? That Five of Wands is not just that Five is for that change, okay, in your situation here that you've been waiting for, this movement, but as well as it's literally daggering uh, for this movement in regards to fighting, okay, battling, okay, and you want this change, I feel, in regards to love here. You have the Queen of Cups right over here, right next to this. Her energy is literally turned, looking in regards to uh, the cup, which is love. Now you could be dealing with the water sign because it is a people card, but for the overall energy is what I really go with here. And your energy is kind of like discouraged. I literally hear discouraged. 
discouraged in regards to love. There's been a lot of battling going on, okay? And I feel that you want this change in regards to this love. Absolutely. Especially with your outcome card here and, and the clarifiers, the 20 billion of them that I picked, okay? I feel that you're trying to be in touch with your uh, intuition is what I'm feeling, okay? It's kind of like you have to go within. Yes. Wow. They make me zoom in on certain things, and yeah, they want you to listen to your intuition. Look, I never even saw this before. You see this? There's that cross. There's that religion. There's that God. There's that universe, that taking the power. Very religious card as it is. Very spiritual card as it is. And it's kind of like those two poles here is kind of like make a decision. You know, those two poles, any kind of twos like that, all right? And I feel that you guys are, you guys are really going through it. Wow. You guys are trying to stay within and listen to your intuition as well because you're done. Like you're waiting for some type of decision, very spiritual energy as well, very spiritual. That cross, I've never seen that cross on that high priestess before. I, I know, I've, I've used it so many times, right? But I've never seen it. That's quite interesting. But it's, it's kind of like you, you need to make, you have to go within and make this decision to be on your right path. Listen, listen, listen to your intuition. It, wow. Not happy, fighting, tired of it, waiting to make this decision. Once this movement, okay? But that movement is just kind of like, constantly battling and not happy in love okay 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 and they're also telling me of the unknown okay there's things of the unknown that high priestess is known for the secret keeper okay so you feel that there's things that are being um you know not spoken of okay the truth needs to come out in regards to this love situation and i do feel in regards to this yes okay they you gotta understand they talk while i'm talking and there's that apology there's some type of message that page is known for that communication that messenger okay in regards to a love situation the page of pentacles is also known for an apology as well okay it's what i'm feeling here this apology is in regards to a relationship that you're not overly happy with okay there's that offering that he just said plea bargain. I don't know why plea bargain. But yeah, there's that offering of that, I'm sorry, you know, in regards to this relationship. I'm not feeling it's you so much. It could be. But I'm feeling more so in regards to, yeah, somebody feels bad, almost guilty feeling in regards to this relationship. Not you is what I'm feeling. It's the other person that they're offering peace offering. Thank you. They're offering this peace offering in regards to this relationship. And they're speaking this truth which is the high priestess right next to that page. That page is that messenger, okay, that communication. So somebody is opening up, expressing that apology and truth to be told, okay, after quite a battle, quite a battle. It's kind of like I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and the only movement that I'm getting is more battling, okay? And you're not happy until this truth comes out, this apology. It's more so apology is what I'm feeling. This offering of here, here's this pe pentacle. That pentacle is that balance. Here's that, let me give you that message. Let me communicate with you and offer that balance back into this relationship like an apology. And that, after that takes place is what I'm feeling. That's when that decision takes place place okay in regards to this relationship that you're not overly happy about okay and you're standing firm now spirit may be stepping in as well you do have the high priestess very spiritual card as well as the judgment card spirit may be stepping in and making that decision but seriously what i'm really feeling here is that you've been patient long enough in regards to this relationship with the two of cups here okay but this is your energy and when your energy shows up you rule you know you definitely rule and it proves it even more in regards to the emperor here the emperor is a father figure of the universe okay he is known as that kind of he's a controlling energy this is all also aries so you could be dealing with an aries as well but for the overall energy it's kind of like i own it now you know this is my presence i'm not really feeling patience anymore in regards to after this apology after this communication after this offering of hey 
here you go. Here's your balance back. Here's what I've been withholding. Not you, the other person that you've been battling with is now opening up and apologizing. Offer that balance back into this relationship. And they just said green light. Wow. And as soon as that apology, as soon as that communication, as soon as that truth is coming out and it, they, okay, it just settles. They just showed me like, um, Know what they're showing me it's kind of, it's weird it's, it's like a the land is just coming in it's like sinking in that was weird but yeah now it's settling down again okay it's sinking it's settling down after this they they showed me this huge mound of dirt basically and it's it's it broke it broke okay on the bottom and now it's sinking down it's not high anymore that dirt that 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 foundation okay is now settling down thank you but yeah that's what it feels like you own this power you own that control now you own it okay and what is what is that controlling about what is that it's about that decision okay you see how his eyes here is literally shifting over it's kind of like in regards to this relationship once this your counterpart opens up and expresses what's really going on i'm feeling more apology to help bring balance back in it's kind of like now things have settled down now things can go back to uh that decision that needs to be made okay it's kind of like you've been waiting for this movement that movement thank you is for them to offer this apology to open up and express what's really going on in regards to this relationship and now that pinnacle of that balance is being offered literally offered to I told you it was a lot. It's a lot of information here. Now there's that apology. Now there's that balance about into this relationship here, okay? And once that takes place, that's when you're going to take that power. You're, the universe is stepping in and you are going to be extremely uh, powerful, extremely powerful about this decision in regards to this relationship. It's kind of like you were just waiting it, it, waiting with the three of wands here for that movement, for this person to just apologize, to open up and express, you know, you know, by opening up and expressing what's really going on in their mind and what's going on with them and to apologize and to offer that bounce back in. It's kind of like they're showing me that that was weird. The big, they showed me this huge mound of dirt, huge. And as soon as that breaking point, thank you for that offering, for that apology, for that balance back into this relationship, that's when you get to decide. That's when you, you, you own the reins, they just said. Seriously, and very, very spiritual energy here. You have three major arcanas that are very spiritual. The Emperor, the Judgment Card, and the High Priestess. Very, very spiritual uh, energy here. But I really feel it's kind of like you have to go within and know that knowledge that Spirit's trying to tell you in regards to believing Believing in yourself, believing in the power of the universe, but it's kind of like you've been waiting for this apology to be able to move forward. Thank you. They just said moving forward. Okay. So in regards to your outcome card, Sagittarius, you have the devil card. So this has been extremely toxic for you, I feel. Could be relating in regards that's the uh, a third party situation as well. But regardless, there's that toxicity that you've been dealing with. And uh, I know, I know. I have to clean up my spirit guide. Uh, Poo poo's going to hit the fan, basically. Okay, you're going to have this tower moment, all right, which is which explains that that it was it was your situation was basically a high situation in regards to nobody can build a, a building on top of a huge amount of dirt, basically. Okay, so that that that's that tower moment. Things are going to be shaken up once this apology, once this communication towards this relationship that you're going through is going to be able to settle down. Now that's that shaking up. Okay. Cause you've been learning the lessons. You have the wheel of fortune here. Definitely, possibly not, not everybody, but I feel definitely in regards to a third party situation with that devil card, with the three of wands here and the wheel of fortune here. So could possibly be in regards to a third party, but regardless, you have so learned these lessons in life okay in regards to something that was extremely you were chained to okay and things are going to shake up now you've been learning these lessons and you're having that change at five of pentacles you may not know where you're going okay but you're moving forward all right you're having that change that 
that five is known for that change, okay, in regards to the pentacles, which is that balance back into your life again, uh, because you definitely have been in your head with the eight of swords, extremely stressed out, which makes sense with that devil card. Devil card can also represent toxicity of the mind, okay, but you're heading towards that change, uh, of that mental anguish, it's kind of like you had, you you were in this dark space, you know, in your mind and very toxic. These two poles here, it's kind of like making a decision, which is basically what your spread was saying here. And I clarified it again. You're darn right I did. And there it is, that Ace of Swords. So when you have the Ace of Swords, there's that new beginning of that truth, of that apology that I was feeling in regards to that Page of Pentacles here that is going to come in, that truth, that communication, and cut it. Cut that darkness out of your life, okay? With that five of pentacles and that eight of swords energy and the toxic of the devil energy here. And you're making that decision with that truth being told, which is basically what your spread was all about. So lump sum here in regards, I know I keep going on, I apologize, but it's important. It's very important that you need to hear this, whoever this is meant for. You've been waiting for this movement, okay? Bottom line, all right? You've been battling, not feeling this love, kind of depressed feeling as well waiting for this truth to be spoken you trying to get into your own intuition and listening to higher source okay meaning spirit universe okay your spirit guide i feel that if that there's going to be that change in regards to this apology uh to bring balance back into this relationship and once that does once that happens, that's when spirit's going to step in. That's when you're going to own own it, okay? Your energy of controlling things now in regards to making that final, they just said final decision of being able to uh, get out of this toxicity. It's going to shake things up, okay? With this truth, I feel, that is being told. That's going to make that movement that you've been waiting for to have that change that you've been mentally anguished over uh, in the dark kind of feeling and making that change because of this truth that is now coming out with that ace of swords interesting spread sagittarius i wish you guys the best you guys have not you've been really been through the ringer really have really have it's just you just need to hear this truth basically to be able to move on and i feel that that is part of you know meanwhile you're listening to your own intuition but what you really need is to know this truth okay to be able to decide and it's kind of like once this truth i know i'm still talking aren't i but once this uh communication does take place that's when spirit stepping in that's when you're owning that you're owning it like you are owning it you are not gonna you're gonna stand firm and that's when that decision to say i'm done you know i'm done see i just dropped the cards and look what look at this that's the card that popped out okay so yep you need that communication to bring balance back into your relationship in regards to not just the relationship, but in regards to your own self as well. And that's when you're going to own it. Once you get this communication and you're going to stand, stand your ground and move on. Okay. Because of this truth that is coming out. Quite interesting. Wow. That was a tough one. All right. So we're going to do, um, we're going to do the sign of Aries. Sagittarius, I hope that this helps. I hope it resonates. It's not going to resonate. It was definitely meant for somebody out there. So in regards to uh, Aries here. 23.18. Okay, Aries. Let's get going here. That was a lot for Sagittarius. Wow. All right. So Aries. Hope everybody's having a good day. You guys have the Seven of Swords. Uh, clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, you have the Temperance card, could be dealing with the Sagittarius as well, but for the overall energy is what I really go for here. In regards to the Two of Cups, uh, the Empress here, the Strength card, the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the, the uh, Justice card, that's a uh, Libra, you could be dealing with a Libra, followed by the King of Swords energy, that is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and the Nine of wants okay i i like to throw out the signs per se but i really go if you ever you know take notice uh i always go with the energy at hand here okay so hang on okay aries 
you guys have been going through it, all right? You're stressing out. You're looking at that Two of Swords energy in regards to making some type of decision, okay? I feel that you've been very, very patient with the Temperance card right after that. You're literally heading towards this patience, this Temperance, having this patience in regards to something that you've been mentally battling to make that decision in regards to love, all right? Because right after that, you have the Two of Cups here, okay? That's that relationship, all right? And I feel that... That you want this movement with your divine as well okay but i feel movement this card always represents to me because she's sitting in her card everybody has the way that they read i know i get ripped on but this is the way that i take this card and spirit knows how i do it so it's kind of like you are battling back and forth in your mind having this patience in regards to this relationship to have this movement to be able to have this strength literally turned looking at this this angel here is trying to wedge the mouth open of this line here okay to open up and express how somebody feels okay and waiting for quite some time in regards to that battling to get to that finish line with that nine of wands to be able to speak this truth literally turned looking at this king of swords energy which it is an air sign but it doesn't have to be gemini libra aquarius Regardless, somebody seriously wants to speak this truth in regards to this relationship, I feel, with the Justice card to bring balance back into this relationship with the Two of Cups energy here, okay? And I feel that somebody has been waiting, kind of battling to make up their mind, to make that decision, to have that new start in regards to love. And by doing so, having that movement, literally daggering over to that Justice card here, so Bottom line is this, I'm feeling that you've been, somebody out there has been waiting, battling in their mind to make that decision, patiently waiting in regards to a love relationship to have that movement. That movement is to open up, okay, and speak this truth that has been really dragging on for quite some time in regards to communication. But I do feel that somebody uh, is coming in and is going to be uh, expressing how they feel. There is going to be that movement. I really feel that. And I feel that your outcome card is the Eight of Pentacles. So there it is, okay? There's that working hard in regards to that one pentacle of bringing balance. Hello? Balance into this relationship here with the Two of Cups right above it. So somebody, I feel is making that decision to put in this hard work, okay, into something that they desire, that they wish, in order to have that new start, that new beginning with the full card here, all right? So bottom line <laughs> is uh, mentally battling to make that decision, to have that new start, to have that movement, to open up. You've been patient long enough to open up in regards to having this relationship, opening up to speaking this truth, to have that strength, to be able to speak this truth after quite a battle of like thinking about things, okay, is what I'm feeling. And I feel that somebody is definitely making that decision, walking towards that decision for that new beginning and is going to now put in that work after what they desire and what they desire is that new beginning in regards to a relationship. So that is what, boy, you guys were easy breezy. It was right out there. So <laughs> thank you so much, Fire Signs, for watching. Please subscribe to my channel as well as click that little bell on the side to get updated information. I do weeklies as well as dailies. You guys have a good one. Uh, have a great week and I'll talk to you soon.